I pulled these quick and easy Halloween sketches or doodles off of one of my lives. So we're gonna go through all five here in this fast three minute tutorial. I'm sharing quickly how I base coated my stones. Now you can do this with acrylic paint or water-based paint pens. I'm just putting the paint down, washing it out a little bit to give it this light, airy watercolor background. The first one we're gonna do is a word rock. We're gonna write the word boo on here and we want our letters to touch the edge of our rock at some place just because of the style. I'm doing kind of more square, letters so that they have these edges that we can turn into points. I'm going to give the entire thing an outline and then we're going to start to thicken the areas where our letters attach to our outline. We're going to give it a little bit of like a wood look so it looks like it's kind of sticks. That's just the style of this lettering. So you can just follow along. I'm just going to go along each of the letters and then along the edge as well giving it all these little lumps and bumps and then we're going to fill in any negative space left behind with just some extra details. Next, we're going to do this doodly sketch style pumpkin. We are going to give ourselves a dot at the bottom so we have some place to aim. Then we're going to do a football shape and then we're going to do two ribs out in each direction. Now I'm using a very sketchy line here, so it's very forgiving. Once you've got your pumpkin down, you can add a fun little vine on the top. I like to fill in my stem and then have the vine a little bit thicker where it attaches to the stem of my pumpkin. And now I'm just gonna go back over all the pumpkin shape here and thicken up my sketchy line. And then I'm also gonna give it a little bit of land where it's sitting, give it an outline, and this one is done. Next, we're gonna start a little spider web rock. I do this in kind of two sections, so Give the places your web is attached first, your lines, and then come back and do the arches connecting those lines together. Now they don't have to be 100% perfect. You can have an area where you kind of made a mistake. And we do come back and add one more area to this web in a bit, but for now I'm gonna put it off to the side after I give it a quick outline. We're gonna do another word rock here. This one's gonna say spooky, but we're gonna follow along the same exact direction we did before. So get your letters on, give it an outline, and then just work your way around each of your letters and the outline, giving it lumps and bumps all along the way. Now we're back to that web. We're just adding one more section. I thought there was just too much airy space on this rock, and we're also adding a little spider as well. The last one we're gonna do is just a bare tree. So you'll just see how I build up my trees here. I go all the way to the outside edge of a branch and then pull it back towards the middle and you slowly thicken up those middle branches as they attach. And you'll just build this really cool bare tree shape. Obviously you wanna give this guy an outline as well and he's finished. I hope these inspire you to do some quick and easy doodle style Halloween rocks. Follow for more.